Psalm 143 and verse 10 says, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. Many of you are probably waiting for the fulfillment of promises. If you are dependent on God, on the grace of God, which is the whole point of the season that you are in, then you will no longer ask, why is this happening? Or when will this happen? Or how will it happen? You will just flow with him. You'll realize that this is the only way. This is the only way that you'll even be satisfied. At this point, you'll not only be thinking about, mm, what can I do for God? But you are now walking with him. And when you do that, you allow God to do what God wants to do. When you do this, a time of refreshing will come. Some of you have been waiting and pleading and praying and fasting. I just want to say this, do not be so obsessed with what you're waiting for. That is still self-obsession, you know. You may not see it that way, but if you are more concerned about and more obsessed about what it is that you are waiting for, you're still obsessed with self. There's only one thing to be obsessed with, and that one thing is Jesus. Growth and promotion may not look like what you expect it to, how you imagine. The problem is that we create images in our mind of what that must look like, what promotion must look like, and uh, what the right kind of ministry must look like, etc. And we don't realize that we may be disobeying God by holding on to those images. We may be saying no to the things that don't match those images in our mind, but it may be something that the Lord is asking you to do. So if it doesn't look good to us, we won't do it. It may look like there's a need somewhere. Like, wait a minute, it doesn't match my credentials. It doesn't match my title. It doesn't match my whatever. Mm. It's your choice. You can either say no or yes. But if it looks like, okay, there's a need there, and you're discerning, the Lord is sending me here because there is a need here. That was an opportunity for you to be promoted. That is an opportunity for you to depend on grace even more. In other words, what is it that you are actually waiting for what does your promotion look like your promotion is to greater dependence on god and learning to obey him amen